So the next type of catheter we'll be looking at is uh, what we call the suprapubic catheter, okay? And uh, most of these catheters they actually carry uh, the names, okay, of probably their function, or it could be that the name of the region where they will be inserted at, all right? So if you look at supra, what does supra mean? Supra means above. And everybody here should know where the pubic region is, okay? So anything supra, pubic, that means what? Above the pubic region is where you insert this catheter. And this can be confirmed from what? Pictures. I could see that above the pelvic bone or the pubic bone, all right, is where you would insert this catheter. And at that region, you are basically targeting your, bl your bladder directly, okay? So you can see this is uh, the suprapubic catheter. So uh, this would be the third example of catheter I'll be looking at. I'll be looking at the definition. I'll be looking at the uses. Then uh, I'll be looking at the insertion methods. I'll be looking at the advantages. Looking at the complications and looking at what the removal method. Okay. So we see that the suprapubic catheter is a type of urinary catheter that is inserted into the bladder. But this is done through the abdominal wall, okay? And this is uh, above the pubic bone, all right? You can see what is out here. You can see the pubic bone and all the stuff. So you just insert it above and it's directly into the bladder, okay? So it is a thin, flexible tube made up of latex and silicone with a balloon on the tip that is what inflated to secure the catheter in place. You can see this what balloon, once it is inside the bladder, they now blow the balloon, all right? You don't blow the balloon before putting, all right? After you put it, then you blow it so that what it can secure it, all right? It will not be able to come out except you deflate it, okay? So, uh, suprapubic catheters are used to what? Drain urine from the bladder, relieve urinary incontinence. And, uh, okay, you relieve urinary retention, sorry, okay? Incontinence is like a personal urine without being able to control. Then retention is basically what you are not being able to pass out urine. So if you are not able to pass out urine, they put the suprapubic catheter here and there you go, it's right into your bladder and you can basically be able to pass out urine, okay? It can also be used to monitor urine output. It can also be used to administer medication directly into the bladder, okay? It can also be used to irrigate bladder. Okay, so I've already spoken about this image. Let's move. What are the insertion methods? Uh, you could use a surgical insertion that's mostly under anesthesia because you are basically invading the person's body, right? And they will feel pain. Then uh, we have the percutaneous insertion. This is basically through the skin, right? Then what are the advantages? Uh, you can have a long-term use. There's reduced risk of what? Um, urinary tract infections, there's increased comfort, and there's improved what drainage, right? You can see it again, right above the pubic bone, you put it, and that's right where the bladder is. What are the complications? Of course, you are invading the body, so there could be com complications of infection, though it's rare. There's a low risk, sorry. It could lead to bleeding because you have to do a surgery, open up this place right into the bladder, all right? It can lead to catheter blockage, bladder spasms, bowel injury, rare though, all right? Removal, basically you need to what? Deflate the balloon. This balloon that you blew it up here, you deflate it, okay? You open it, you drain everything out. Then uh, once you deflate it, you gently pull out the catheter. So that's it about the suprapubic catheter from the definition. Uses insertion methods and advantages. So that's it, guys.